Hello and welcome to Excel-Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-Templates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. Learn everything about Excel. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to do a different type of goal chart. Had a thermometer chart and a uh, user said, um, we are trying to save so many reams of paper at our company uh, by reducing printing and copier um, uh, counts. And so each one of those that we reduce saves so many reams, which ultimately we say is going to save a certain amount of trees or a tree. And so they wanted an image of a tree. They wanted it to go to 100%. And uh, as they save more and more uh, trees or reams of paper, uh, the tree will become more and more visible. And ultimately, when you get to 100%, um, you will see that the uh, whole tree is showing and if you go above hundred percent It doesn't matter. We have reached our goal. We've saved that tree. We're at hundred percent So let me show you how you go about uh, uh, Making that chart. So um, first thing you want to do is um, set up your series and we're gonna have three different series the first one is we're gonna have uh, the hundred percent tree. So this is the full tree shouldn't move This series is always going to equal 100% Next, goal reached. I like to highlight these cells in yellow because this is a user entered value. So in this case, it equals 60% is the number that we'll use. So this is always just going to be a value that is entered. Finally, uh, goal remaining. This is going to be a formula that is going to subtract these two numbers. Um, now, we just don't want to subtract the two numbers because once we get above 110 or 100%, uh, we want the goal remaining to always just stay at zero and, and not show anything else. So we're going to make a simple if statement with that. And we're going to say if B2 minus B3 is greater than or equal to zero, then fine. Let's just do B2 minus B3. Else, we're going to do 0% as our final value. So as you can see, if we put in 60, we have 40. If we do 40, we should get 60. 90, 10. If we do 100, we should see zero. And 110, we should see zero. So we are now set with our formulas um, and what we're going to calculate for our series. Next, you want to find an image um, that you're going to use in your chart. In this case, I'm using a tree. It's got a transparent or white background. Either one of those will work. Then what you want to do is click on your tree image, go up to your format ribbon. Over on the far right, you're going to see a crop button. And then that crop button is going to give you um, these different places that you can put to the very bottom of the tree. And once you do that, you can click away. That's because the very bottom of the tree is going to be zero for our chart. So we have our image, we have our data. Let's go ahead and create the chart. To do that, highlight this range from A1 to B4. Go up to your insert ribbon, go over to the column charts button, and we're gonna do a 2D stacked column chart. So it's that second one in here, and we'll click on that. Let me pull the chart into frame so you can see how it's gonna work. And uh, so we have our uh, different chart series. We can go, at this point in time, we can just go ahead and find our image of our tree and copy it. And I'm gonna just right click and do copy. And then click in your chart, find that 100% tree uh, column and uh, make sure you double click on just, or click twice just on that one data point. And then you're gonna have to use your keyboard for this and do control V, which is gonna paste that tree in there. Don't worry about the how it looks right now. We'll fix all of that, but uh, you can see that the custom marker has been put in there for that series. Now, the next thing we want to do is make sure you click anywhere in the chart, go up to your design ribbon, and uh, go over to switch row and column. We want to make sure that this is all stacked on top of each other here. All right, perfect. You know, let me go change my values in here so that we can see the goal remaining. You can right now you see we're only seeing goal reach because I'm above 100 percent. So I'm going to change that to say uh, 60 percent. So now you can see the two different series that we're working with: the goal remaining and the goal reached. The goal reached ultimately is going to have no fill, and then the green um, and we're going to change that to a transparent fill here in a second. All right, next, what we want to do is double click on this red series and you will get this format data series dialog box and you want to click on secondary axis and move that to the secondary axis. Now, it's kind of hard to see your other columns in this case, but luckily I can still see a little bit of green up on the top. I can click on that one, but if you're having trouble selecting it, you can uh, shrink your gap a little bit. Oops, let me undo that. Um, when you've selected your uh, one that you've already moved to the secondary axis, you can see if I shrink it up a little bit, I can now see 
um, all of the different series. I can click on the green um, goal remaining percentage. I want to move that to the secondary axis as well. So only the tree should be on the primary axis. Now you can see it's uh, restacked and rechanged our gap again. And uh, uh, actually, I don't want any gap at all. But before I do that, I'm going to shrink that gap and make sure I can select that tree series in the back. Um, and actually, even before that, I want to get rid of these grid lines. I just don't like the grid lines. So I'm going to click on those and hit my delete key. Now that I've done that, let's select that tree series. And we're going to change this to no gap. We're going to move that all the way down to zero. We can then select our other two columns um, that are on our secondary axis, either one of those, and change the gap on that also to 0%. Uh, we're getting pretty close. There's a few other things that we want to do. Um, first, I'm fine now uh, I'm getting rid of our legend. You can keep it until the end if you'd like. Uh, but I'm first, I'm going to double click um, on this red series, the goal reached percentage. I'm going to click on the fill options, and I'm going to choose no fill. That way, the tree will be shown on that um, as we rise in value. So you see if I change um, my value from 60 to 75, or if I change it down to uh, 25, you'll see it's hiding more or less of the tree. So there's a no-fill series there. And then um, where this green series is, I want to double click on that, go over to my fill options, and I want to change it to a solid fill. I like choosing um, some sort of gray option, maybe a, a medium gray, um, and uh, after you've done that, then go ahead and change your percent of transparency to something like 20%. Uh, you can play with those as you like. Now you can see there's just that shadow right over the uh, tree, and as we continue to increase this value, more and more of that tree is going to show up in my chart. Now I really, since I've got everything set up in my series, I can go ahead and click on delete my legend. I also, I want to go ahead and delete the secondary axis, primary axis uh, vertical uh, values. I'm going to select it and hit my delete key. Finally, I want to change my primary axis uh, values by double clicking on it, going over and changing my axis options. I want to make sure that it's fixed at zero because if I ever have any uh, weird numbers coming in here, I never want it to change past zero. And I always want my maximum to be one, which is equal to 100%. So there you have it. Now you can see we have our um, chart. And as we uh, continue to change the values, um, more and more or less and less of the tree is going to uh, show up. And I can change all of that with the user entered data. And now my chart is all set so that my users can know how close it is um, that we're towards our goal. And uh, when you reach the top or go above and beyond, it will uh, hide that value. So hopefully you found uh, this tutorial uh, enlightening. Please head on over to excel-dashboardtemplates.com and make sure you leave me some comments. Also, you'll find other great tutorials and videos over there as well. Once again, please also subscribe to my video channel so you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.